Hi YouTube, welcome to MA Academy C++ Data Structures Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to convert an array into a linked list. Now this is the fifth tutorial in this series and in the first few tutorials, I covered things like how to create a simple linked list, how to add a function that will add a new node to the end of the linked list, how to write a function that will add a node uh, to the beginning of the linked list and how to write a function that will insert a node at a particular index inside the linked list. So in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to convert an array into a linked list. Now this is the program with which we will be working. So I have explained uh, almost all of it uh, in the previous few tutorials. So in here, we can see that there is our structure. There is the first pointer that's pointing to null. Then there is the insert last function, which I explained in the second tutorial. Then, then there is the insert first function, which I explained in the third tutorial. And then there is the insert at index, which I explained in the previous tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will look at this function, which I have called, um, which I call array linked list. So it takes two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the array. And the second is the number of the elements inside the array. Then in here, uh, you can see that I create, um, I have two pointers by the name of temp and last. We will use the temp pointer to allocate memory inside the heap section and then we will use um, the last function to point to the last node so in here let me quickly change this so this is node and a new node so new node so this is the syntax for creating and allocating a space inside the heap in the c++ programs the other one that you saw it was um, what you used to do in, c, uh, in the c language so that's how you allocate it memory and C. But in C++, you can just write new node. It's simpler, easier. So in here, look, let's look at the diagram in here. So when you're having an array, so the array is stored inside the memory in consecutive memory location. So let's say we have an array. It has four elements, 9, 15, 22, and 19. So in here, we can see that all these uh, elements that are uh, belonging to the same array reside within the continuous memory blocks inside the memory so you can see that they are all side by side there's 9 15 22 and 15 there is no uh, empty space or some other memory blocks between these elements so they are all in adjacent memory blocks inside the memory however this is not the case when we are using a linked list in linked list we can see that a node can reside in one section of the memory another node can reside inside another section then in here this is in another section and this is in another uh, section and all these nodes, uh, they point to each other. So you can see that these uh, red arrows in here, they point to each other. So this is how we know that this is the first node is pointing to the second node, third node, and fourth node. So that, that's what we will be doing in this tutorial. So we say uh, the first thing that we do is we say first is equal to new node. So this first is equal to new node. It creates a new node for us. So currently, let's assume that the heap is empty we don't have anything so we say first is equal to new node so what it means it uh, allocates a block inside the uh, heap section so it allocates a space inside the heap section so let's say it has allocated this uh, space in here however for now being it's empty because we haven't assigned to it yet anything so then we say first data is equal to r0 so we can we know that a structure has two parts right so uh, the first part is a data part and the second part is the next part. So at least this structure that we are using, it has two parts. The first one is the integer and the second one is the next. So for example, for, for now being, we are saying int data is equal to R0. So whatever is the uh, first element inside the array, the element which is at index 0, we assign it to the data section. So let's say our array's uh, first element is um, 9. So it assigns 9 to it. Next, it says that uh, first next is equal to null so it means that the next section of it which points to the uh, to the another node uh, it's null since we have only one node so this is if this is the first node that we are creating there won't be these nodes right so it won't point to anything so it's null right so in here we are saying null then we are saying last is equal to first so in here we can see that the first pointer is pointing to the first node and the last pointer is pointing to the last node however if you have only one node inside in your linked list then what will happen the first and the last both of these pointers will point to the same node so in here that's what this line in here does first uh, when i say last is equal to first then i create a loop a for loop 
I say for int i is equal to 1 and i is less than n and i plus plus. So i is equal to 1, i is less than n, n is the number of the elements inside the array. And we are saying as long as it's less than that, so increase it. So for now, we are saying 1 is less than 4. So in here we have 4 nodes inside our array. And in here we check is, four, is 1 less than 4? Yes. Then we say temp is equal to new node. So what it means, it, it means that it's creating a new node inside the heap section. So let's say this time uh, it creates this, it allocates this section of the memory for us. Then we are saying temp data is equal to ri. So previously it was the 0. This is the now index 1. So you are saying allocate it to the data section of it. So previously we assigned 9. We took 9 and we assigned it to in here. Now we are saying add i. So at index i. So i we can see that in here i is at 1. So whatever is at the index 1. At index 1 we have 15. So it takes 15 and puts it inside this one. Uh, then it says it's next should point to null. So since it's uh, the next part of a structure points to the next node and since this is the recently created node, so there is no these nodes. We don't have these nodes yet. So we have only this node and this node. And we know that the last node in the link this points to null. So that's why we are saying this should point to null. Then we say last next is equal to temp. So previously we had only one node inside uh, our linked list. So the first and last they were both pointing to this node. Now we are saying last next should point to temp. So temp is now pointing to this new section of memory inside the heap. So previously we said last is equal to first. Now we are saying last next is equal to temp. So now whatever this, uh, sorry, previously in here you can, if you see, when I created this first, uh, node in here we i said the data part is the first element in the array and then it's next is equal now i'm saying uh, then i said last is equal to first it means that the first and last pointer will point to the same node now i'm saying the next part of the uh, node should point to temp the last node so previously you can see that we saw that so even now last is pointing to this node so we are saying it's next is equal to temp so now this will point to the new node so now we have this link in here which you can see in red then i say last is equal to temp so previously i said last is equal to first so the first time uh, we executed this line uh, for the last pointer was pointing to the first element since it was the only node that we had in the link list but now we are saying last is equal to temp since we created a new node in here this time we are saying last should move from this one to this new newly created node so now we have two nodes in our linked list. This is the first node and this is the last node. Then we loop, uh, run this loop again. This time I will equal to two. So is two less than four? Yes, it is less than four. So again, what you do, create a new node. So this time it creates this, uh, allo allocates this section of the memory. Then it says the data part is equal to ri. i is this time equal to two. So in here we can see that at index two we have 22. So it will take 22 and put it inside the data section. The next will be null since it will, it will be the last node inside the linked list. Then we are saying last next is equal to temp. So when we knew that the last was pointing to this node, right? So now we are saying it's next should point to the newly created node, which is this one. So now we have this red connection. Then we say last is equal to temp. Since last was uh, connected, was previously pointing to this node. However, we created this new node. So now um, last will point to this node in here. Then we run this loop one more time. This time it will be three, S3 less than four, yes. Then again, uh, it will create this node in here. It will set the data. It will set the next part of it null. Then this was previously the last pointer. So it's next, which is this in here. It will point to the newly created node. And then we say last is equal to temp, which means that the last pointer will at last point to the newly created node which is this one in here this is how the uh, link list gets created from the array and you can do a debug of it to better understand it i've already debugged uh, some of the programs that i've created in this one i want to uh, do it for this one because it will take uh, a few minutes and i don't want to waste uh, your guys uh, waste your time guys um so you already know this because i've already explained how to do a debug of it so I recommend you do that. That way you will better understand it. If you have any kind of confusion about it, if you still don't understand it, 
I recommend you debug it and you, that way you will understand it even more. So this is it for this one guys. Um, yes, sorry, I forgot uh, to run this. So we can see that in here we our uh, array has these four elements, 9, 15, 22, and 19. So it's um, 9, 15, 22, and 19. So the number of items is four. So if we change that and if we say run, so we should have a linked list which has these four numbers. So in here we can see that it's 9, 15, 22, and 19. So now we can see that our linked list has um, these four nodes. So this array has been converted into a linked list and we are displaying it with the help of this display function which I've already explained. So this is it for this one guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, feel free to put it in the comments section below. And if you have, uh, if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one.